This is my uh, second attempt at uh, building a rain barrel irrigation system for my garden. The first one was a single barrel system and now I decided to make a three barrel system to provide, provide more water that would last me uh, at least a couple of weeks. The, uh, if you notice that the rain barrel gets water from the roof, it feeds into the first barrel and then through a manifold system that simultaneously uh, fills each of the three barrels. At the end of the each barrel there is a valve that you can shut that barrel off or you can shut the whole system off with this uh, valve down here. It's also hooked up to a timer. This is a Gilmore timer that has a ball valve on it and it does not require the pressure that you normally have to open and close it. And the um, tubing is, there's a half inch tubing that goes from the timer all the way out to the end of the garden down there. Then it's crimped off and off of e off the center half inch tubing there are these uh, spaghetti tubes, quarter inch spaghetti tubes that lead to each plant. The materials used in the uh, drip garden are a half inch uh, hose that you can buy for around ten dollars. There's also the quarter inch hose over here that you cut up into pieces to make a network. And then there are these drip connectors that you can buy either in a kit form, which I bought at Home Depot, or you can go to uh, dripdepot.com uh, and you can buy uh, parts to it. I also made some sticks here. These are uh, dowels that you can wrap a piece of wire around, and those are used to uh, hold the end of the drip tube down so that uh, it doesn't uh, flip all over the place. In order to uh, put the drip tubing uh, into the half inch hose, you take this uh, puncher, you punch a hole into the half inch hose like that, you then take a connector like this, and the connector snaps into the hole, and a quarter inch tubing goes onto the drip con the uh, connector, and onto the end of the quarter inch tubing, you would put a uh, one of these drip emitters. Uh, th there are several sizes. Some of them will drip one gallon per hour, two or three gallons per hour, on a regular um, garden hose system, but on a uh, gravity feed rain barrel system they drip a little less. One of the things you have to be careful about is to make sure you have a watertight seal so uh, I bought this tub uh, and tile sealer that's usually used around the bathtub but I also used it at the end of the connection in the rain barrel. If you see the fitting there, uh, there was a leak there. I had to drain the barrel and then uh, seal it with the tub sealer and that uh, caused, uh, solved the problem. The rest of the connections are all sealed with the PVC cement and uh, that works just fine.